Hello everybody, Peter here and welcome to Run Strong Yoga. Today I'm going to walk you through a short and really fun uh, workout, a strength and mobility workout that will build strength in ways you don't get when you run. And we're going to build strength in a deeper range of motion. And obviously we're going to work on uh, flexibility and mobility as well. And all this is good for you to perform better uh, while you're out running and also for you to recover faster after a run and uh, to stay injury free. So, uh, all you need is a mat. If you have blocks, they're great uh, to help you in some of the poses, but it's not necessary. Um, and if you don't have block and you want to have them, you could also use uh, books or something. Anything that kind of help you raise the floor a little. But like I said, you don't really need them. So, what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with something called a march hold. So, and we're gonna put our left foot down, we're gonna raise our right knee, and when we have a good balance here now, try to find the breathing as well, a good breathing rhythm. And you gotta work with the left leg and the left uh, glutes to be able to keep the balance, and you try to press the right hip up, a right leg up, and at the same time, you put the right hand and push that down. So you have to work harder with your hip flexors, which is a very important muscle for running. Uh, and also muscle that get very stiff uh, and weak when we're sitting down a lot during the day. So it's great to work on that one. So that's what we do, a lot of strength for it, but also uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna stretch it quite a bit as well. All right, we are gonna lean forward a little and we're gonna put the leg behind us we're gonna go down to a runner's lunge so keep the back leg straight and activated and squeeze the, the the quads and you should have the knee on top of the ankles pressing the left knee out to the side so you gotta work with the hip here as well and lean forward a little bit put the hands back Aim for a straight line from the back heel all the way up to, to your head now. And keep breathing. You can come a little bit deeper every time you exhale if you like. If you can. Good. And always keep the, the back leg activated as well and also the core, core like when you're doing a plank. One more breath, we're gonna put the right hand down. If you got a block, you could use the block and put the hand on top up. And when you have the hand down, we twist towards the left. And if you can't come up with an arm, you can always put it behind your back as well and roll the shoulder up so you open the chest up. Put the hand down again, we come up to high lunge, raise, oh, raise the arms up, try to do a little back bend and come up to one leg balance again and put the right foot down again. So you feel a good burn in your, in your left leg there, right? Now we're going to put the right foot down and we're going to lift the left leg up. Same here, press the knee up to activate the left hip flexor, put the hand down, keep the right leg activated the whole time, the glutes, keep breathing. And this, this is a great uh, balance exercise as well. And it, and it strengthens your, your foot strength and your ankle stability. Starting to lean forward a little. Put the foot down in the back. Right knee on top of your right ankle. Squeeze the left leg. Lean forward. Aim for that straight line from the back left knee all the way up to the to the head, top of the head. Good. 
The reason we want the knee on top of the, of the ankle is at the moment we don't want to put a lot of weight on the knees. We want all the weight to go on the hips. Good, let's put the left hand down on the floor or on the block. And we open up the chest to the right. Keep breathing. Put the right hand down. Come up to a high lunge. Oops. Arm straight up, lean back a little, bend backwards, and come up to a to a, a one leg balance, and put the foot down again. Good. Now we're gonna keep going, and I actually am gonna move to this side so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, lift the right knee up again, and we're gonna put it behind the, the right leg behind. For warrior two, but 45 degrees, uh, the toe should be pointing forward. Press the back hip forward, so you come in, so that you get the right knee on top of the left ankle again. Squeeze the butt so you're not, so the butt isn't coming out too much. And when you have a good balance, feel a good stretch in the inner thighs as well. Reach the arm straight out. And keep breathing. Look straight forward over your left arm. You can come a little bit deeper every time. If you want to sink deeper, make sure you press the back hip so you're not leaning forward. We want the shoulders on top of the hips all the time. Now we're going to lean forward. Put the left hand uh, inside the, the left knee. And we're going to open up. To a side angle. Good. Keep breathing a few more seconds. Now we're going to keep the arm up, but you straighten your left leg. Put the arm on your, your shin and a triangle pose. If you want, you can put the arm higher up, but don't put it straight on your knee. So below or above, or on a block if you have that as well. Bend your knee, come down with your arms into warrior two again. And turn the back foot, step up to the top of the mat. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna come here again. Uh, so now on the right foot, step back with the left leg, 45, about 45 degrees pointing forward. Press the back hip forward, squeeze the butt. Arm straight out. Exhale and try to come a little bit deeper without losing the pose. Look straight forward. Let's turn, put the right hand inside the right leg and the left arm straight up. Important we keep the right leg very activated here so we don't, so we don't fall firmly in like that. So keep the hips strong. Keep the arm up, come up with a straight leg, put the hand down into a triangle pose with a straight leg. So now you should feel a good stretch on the inside and the hamstring as well. Breathing, if you can, can look straight up. Good, bend the front knee, come out with the arm. Do warrior two again. Turn the back foot, 
and come up to the front of the mat. Great. Now we're gonna go down on the floor for a plank. So on our, uh, put the hands on the ground, toes in the back, kind of screw the hands in the, mat, in the floor so the biceps are pointing forward. Good, keep breathing, keep breathing all the time. So we're gonna start to slowly go down to a cobra. There we go. Hands on the side of the chest. Uh, squeeze the legs so the knees are coming off the ground and lift our upper body. Use the back muscles to, to lift your body so you don't push uh, your hands. So you don't press your upper body up with your arms. Uh, squeeze the elbows together, the shoulder blades, squeeze them together. To make sure you're not using your arms and hands too much, you can lift the hands off the floor. Keep breathing, keep everything squeezed. The legs, the core, the back, shoulder blades together, elbows together. Five, four, three, two, one, and come down. We're gonna come up to down dog. So come up on all four, up on your toes, keep the knees bent. Press the hip back so we get straight arms. If you can, straighten your legs. You should aim for a pyramid shape now. If you want to, you can keep pedaling the heels up and down. So get a good, nice stretch for the calf muscles as well. Let's take a few more seconds. Great. Put the right foot outside of the mat, the left foot, and start to walk backwards straight legs. Reach up. And walk to the front of the mat. We're gonna come down on our back. For a boat, we're gonna do some core work now. So, come up with the legs, the heels, uh, up with the chest. When you have the balance, you can have the arms out. This is called a boat pose. And keep breathing. Let's stay here for a bit longer, and we're gonna start to do something fun here. We're gonna start to have one leg out at a time. Left leg. Right leg. Left. Right. A few more. We stay in the boat now. If you can't have straight legs now, five, four, three, two, one, and feet down and lie down. Whew. We're gonna do a recline number four now. So let's put the right foot on top of the left knee, grab onto your left leg, and pull cl closer to you towards your chest. Now you should feel a good stretch in the outer right hip. If you don't, you could hold on to the shins so you get a deeper stretch. Good and keep breathing. Take the left leg off, 
no right leg and now we put the left leg on top of the right leg and we grab on to the to the right hamstring and pull Breathing. Good, and come down with that leg. Hold the knees up, 90 degrees. And we're gonna arm straight out to the sides. We fall over to the right. And when we all the way down, try to keep the left shoulder down on the floor and look over to the right. Left, sorry. Now you should feel a good stretch in the outer left hip and all the way up through the lower back, up to the chest and the shoulder as well. If you want a deeper stretch, you can take the right hand, put it on top of your left leg. Excellent, keep breathing. All right, let's Come over to the other side. Right arm straight out. Keep the shoulder down on the floor if you can. If you wanna hold, take the left hand on the right leg. If you feel that you're stiffer on one side in the different poses, that's totally normal, and it's the same for most people. All right, guys, that was it. That was a short but very intense workout, and um, so many benef benefits for you'll get from this short workout. So do this as many times as you want to per week. And um, thanks for taking part today, and I see you soon for another workout, I hope. Thank you, bye.